Good evening. Granddaddy P here. As I mentioned earlier today, um, it's Kim Gadam's birthday. And I thought I would discuss this issue now that she's 19, as of today in Korea. Uh, she's 19. She's a legal, completely legal adult in South Korea. So, let's get some background on this first. This is going to take a little while. It's not going to be a short. Let's see. About three years ago, there was a up-and-coming new K-pop girl group under HYBE, HYBE, called La Seraphim. Six girls. As you know now, there are five. But it started with six. And the center of that group was one Kim Gada. Now, as the group debuted, an acquaintance, an enemy, really, of Kim Gadam came forward and said that Kim Gadam bullied her. And then all kinds of accusations were thrown out. Most of them meant nothing, but one stuck, and that was that she was a bully, and there was a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, violence service report or whatever it was called from her school stating that she in fact was a bully. It got so bad that the South Korean government think about this. The South Korean government the Minister of Education <laughs> it's like the Secretary of Education in the United States a presidential cabinet position. That man came out and said, yes, Kim got on was involved in bullying in school. We have a service report saying so. Mm, interesting. The government. Well, that was it, man. Kim got on was dead. They put her on a hiatus. And then, hi, all out of nowhere, said, nope, that's it. Her contract is canceled. Cancel. Get out. Now, this is interesting because there was no bullying. Once Kim Garam was released from her contract, fired, she released the school violence reports, report. And in it, it says nothing about bullying. What it does say is that she confronted the her enemy, acquaintance, and cursed at her. Now, think about this. You're 12 years old. When this occurred, she was 12 years old. When the group debuted and she was fired unceremoniously, she was 16. Teen. Do you remember 16? I do. Do you remember 12? I do. She was 12 when the incident occurred. And what happened was this enemy slash acquaintance was the one who took inappropriate pictures of Kim Garam's friend and posted it online in another person's page, social media page, okay? Well, they found out who did it, and they confronted her, and that's where the cursing took place. Did you hear me, though? The enemy girl, who we still don't know her real name, took inappropriate pictures of Kim Garam's friend and posted them online for the world to see. She was confronted, and then it went to school. But before the school could do anything about Miss Enemy, she, yeah, 
filed a complaint against Kim Ganam and then transferred herself to another school. So there is no service report, violent service report about her. Because she moved. But because she filed a complaint before, Kim Ganam has a record of a report. But no bullying. And when you read the report, it says that. It shows that the only thing Kim Gadam did was curse at this other girl. Oh my God. I remember cursing when I was 12. <laughs> you know, it didn't make me a bad person. It didn't ruin my life. So what happened here? I want you to think about this. She was 16 years old when her life was snatched away from her. Oh, she's still alive, but you know what I mean. Her career was snatched away. The other five of Seraphim girls have been able to go on, and they are now filthy fucking rich. Kim Garam, best I can tell until somebody corrects me and shows me, got nothing. Yeah, yeah. Her voice is still on the first album. Yeah, but she got nothing. So, again, let's think about what happened to this poor girl. And then I'll discuss some other things. Now, at the age of 16, she had a career ripped away from her for something she did as a child at 12, and all it was was cursing at another girl. Wow! I'm going to curse right now. What the fuck? <laughs> all right. I'm 68 years old. I know. I don't look a day over 30, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm 68. I have a daughter who is 38. I have a granddaughter who just turned nine. Nine. So in three years, she'll be 12. <laughs> and will she get in fights in school? Maybe, maybe not. Hope not. Will she pick up some bad words? Oh, I'm probably, if she hasn't already. And will she use them at other children? I'm going to say, hope not. But I won't be there at school, neither will my daughter, so I'm going to say, probably. <laughs> will she be a bully? I will say no, because I know her parents. I know how she's been brought up. And I don't think that will happen. I can't guarantee that, but I don't think so. So in three years, my granddaughter will be the age that Kim Garam was when she cursed at another girl. In five years, let's see, 12, that's a nine, six. In six years, she will be... Seven years, sorry. In seven, my, math not my subject. In seven years, she will be the age that Kim Garam was when she had basically her life, life ruined. I want you to think about that again. Sixteen. Sixteen. Not an adult in any country that I know. Far from it. In my country, it's 21. Now... She finished high school. She's now in university studying to be an actress. Evidently, she can never... <laughs> I've actually had Koreans write me in English and say these very words that I'm about to say to you in English to me. She can never be an idol because of her past. Her past. Cursing at another girl. If my phone wasn't on, I'd look up the thing because I have it on there. I know an actor. He's been in several K-dramas. He's been in Hyena. Uh, he was in, I forget the name of it, but it was the one where they were running for political office. And one woman helped another woman get elected. Well, he was in that one. He's been in many. He's one of those acts. Oh, he was in... No, he wasn't in that one. Never mind. I was going to say he was in Why Her, but he wasn't. So, But he's been around. This guy solicited 
SEX from 17 year olds. 17! Promising to get them acting jobs. A hey, grown man. Well, nothing happened to him. Yeah, he went to court. Got a suspended sentence. Went right on with his fucking career. And he's still out there. This guy basically raped minors. And got to go on. Got to go on. Kim got on at the age of 12. Cursed at another girl. She didn't get to go on. So now that she's an adult herself. Is anything going to come of this? She couldn't do anything as a minor, obviously. Can she sue the other girl whose name still remains a mystery? Can she do anything to hype? I don't know. But I believe that what goes around comes around. And I should have been born Italian because I also believe in Vendetta. You fuck with me, you fuck with my family, I get back at you. So, I'm thinking that Kim Garam as an adult might take some legal action. Now that's up to her. Now you may ask why I even support this girl. You're an old man, you're 68, she's still a teenager. Now she's an adult, but still a teenager. She was 16 then. So why do you, ooh, you, ooh, you filthy old man. No, no, don't even try that bullshit. It has nothing to do with that. I don't know her. I'll never meet her. I've heard her sing a couple of her songs, but it's not really my genre. So why do I talk so much? Why do I back so strongly this Kim Garam girl? Because I hate injustice. And this was injustice at the highest level. They took a child and destroyed her career over something she did four years prior and all it was was cursing. I think about it three years later and I'm still livid. Yeah. Because I think of my granddaughter and my daughter. What could happen to them? Did this kind of thing happen to them? Well, thank God they don't live in South Korea. So no. But... Think about it. Twelve. Such bad words to another girl. At 16, you get your life thrown away. Have to restart at 16. And try again. So she's trying again. And when she graduates, and if she gets roles, and I'm hoping she does, I will support them. I will watch them. I will tell others to watch them. Because the girl deserves more than she got. The Seraphim girls are rich. They have more money themselves. Each one of them has more money now than I'll, I've made in my lifetime. Already. Kim Garam got fucking squat. So yeah. I'm backing Kim Garam. I'm waiting for her acting career. And I will support her. Simply because I hate injustice. And if there's another one that happens to, and I know about it, I'll support them too. If it's a male, which, by the way, almost never happens, but if it's a male, I'll support them too. Because children and young people don't deserve to be shit on and have their lives ruined by adults. So now Kim Garam is an adult, and I wish her the best, and I hope she gets... A little revenge. Granddaddy P. Signing out.